Hey guys, welcome back to BeerGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at a very special beer in regards that it's really kind of blowing up the craft beer scene right now. From Lawson's Finest Liquids out of Vermont, this is their Sip of Sunshine. Coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. It's an IPA, although kind of verging on Imperial IPA. Um, Lawson's up in Vermont are a kind of an odd duck of a brewery. Um, you, you can't go there, you can't visit. They release their beers in bombers usually at I believe only a one or two different stores. You can't get them outside of Vermont, but people are going crazy for them. They brew some fantastic beers. Well, now they've decided to take this beer in particular to a brewery in Connecticut uh, called Two Roads Brewing out of Stratford, Connecticut, um, where they brew it, they can it, and they let it go, and people are going nuts for it. I gotta give a big thanks to Mike for hooking me up with this one. Been wanting to try this for for a while, so I'm excited about it. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells taste. And give you the final verdict on the Lawson's Sip of Sunshine. All right, guys, the aroma on the Sip of Sunshine. Oh, wow. Massive, massive amounts of citrus, grapefruit, orange peel, orange rind, just like citrus juice that's been aerated. A little bit of sweetness, a tropical sweetness in there. Just an absolute hot bomb. Guys, the taste on the sip of sunshine. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Right at the front of the tongue, a massive pop of citrus hops. A little bit of bitterness in there. Middle of the mouth. Uh, citrus verging towards like a mango peach kind of sweet juiciness, like a super ripe juicy peach. Uh, nice kind of dry maltiness to it, really just there to kind of accentuate the hops. It actually feels like an 8% beer, like it feels like a bigger beer. Um, not that it's, you know, um, malty by any means, just feels like a big beer. There's tons of sweet hoppiness, tropical juice, orange, citrus, pine, everything going on. Super dry finish in the aftertaste. Again, more peach, just big, sweet, juicy peach mixed with orange juice. It's just fantastic stuff. 8%. You don't taste that alcohol. There's a little bit of residual sweetness, but it, again, it feels like a proper 8% beer. It's really good stuff. I guess so the final verdict of the loss in Sip of Sunshine, 8% alcohol by volume. Pretty limited availability, but guys, this one is getting an A. It's another one of those just world-class IPAs from New England that just, they just seem to keep coming and coming and coming. You know, it started with Hetty and it's just gone on from there. And just the state of IPAs in this country is just phenomenal right now. So many small breweries just brewing fantastic IPAs that are just groundbreaking in so many ways. And this one's no exception. Super hoppy, but it's got a big body to it without being too big. You know, it's still a, an IPA, but it feels like a much bigger beer, but the hops just really carry that. It's just an awesome beer. And again, thank you, Mike, so much for hooking me up with this one. Again, I, I just have the best viewers. So with that said, getting an A for me. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.